Hi folks, I'm going to show you how you can um, uh, connect your laptop to the document camera. This document camera happens to be an ABS 308. If you want to set it up in another room, uh, we'll probably have to go into the menu of that, so uh, you can uh, ask me and I can help you do that. But um, if you use ABS 308, it's already set up for you. So first of all, you're going to come in here, and the first thing you're going to want to do is turn it on. Okay, so it happens to be on right now. If it's off, the light will be red. Just press that power button, and it turns on. Okay, and then there's this cord right here. All right, it's the only cord that's a USB cord. All right, you're going to want to use that, and you're just going to take that, and you're going to plug it into your laptop somewhere. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to open your camera app on your uh, laptop. So you come over here and just start typing the word camera, okay? And uh, you'll see the camera app uh, up here, okay? And I'm going to click that and it opens my camera, okay? So now, um, this is my camera and it's actually using the webcam on my laptop at the moment. So if I want to switch to the Elmo, I'm going to come to this icon right here, all right? Uh, I'll just hover my mouse over there and it says change camera. And when I click on that, it's going to change it to the Elmo. It takes a few seconds, okay? And now the Elmo is on my laptop, okay? And now, um, uh, you know, obviously you need a piece of paper. You have to, you know, so here you go. You can just see I got my hand underneath the, the, uh, um, uh, my, the camera, all right? Uh, and I'm going to show you just a few of the features of the uh, Elmo now. And then, um, uh, we'll conclude the video. But first of all, um, there is a light, okay? There's a light right here. So this is the actual camera. Uh, this is the lens, and there's a light right next to it, okay? And, and aligned closely next to the light is the switch. So you can turn that off, or you can turn that on, okay? So you can uh, rotate this thing in three dimensions. You can rotate the camera, okay? You can rotate the whole arm relative to the base, okay? All right, you can see I'm rotating it this way, all right? And you can also rotate the arm up and down. So you're gonna have to mess around with that to get the right orientation. Now, over here on the end, there's also a little knob, and you can twist that knob, okay? And that zooms in and zooms out. And then right on the very end, okay, there's also this orange button. And if you press and hold that orange button for a few seconds, uh, it should autofocus on whatever is down at the bottom there, okay? So, uh, you know, anyway, all right, so you can see my hand is in much better focus now um, on, the, uh, on the laptop, okay? So um, that's the basic idea, um, and I think there was something else I wanted to tell you, but I'm, I can't, it's, it's eluding me at the moment. Okay, I just remember what I wanted to tell you. So now I got my um, Elmo uh, onto my, my laptop, and now I'm going to use Screencast-O-Matic to capture it, okay? So I can go to Screencast-O-Matic here. All right, I can turn that on. All right, that takes a minute. And then you're just going to use Screencast-O-Matic as normal. You'll go to Record, all right, and uh, you can set your window to the size that you want, all right, and uh, so on and so forth. The beauty here as well is that you could actually set your window something like this, and you could open up, let's say, a PDF, okay, and, um, uh, you know, whatever. I'm just going to open up a random PDF that's on my laptop right now. But I could actually size uh, both windows, okay, so that um, uh, I could actually have both of these side by side. So you could have the document camera uh, uh, on one side of your Screencast-O-Matic, okay, and you could have some other thing over here, okay, and I could be referring to some um, document here while I'm also messing about over here with my doc with my document camera. I'm just going to show you one other little thing here, okay, that you might be interested in since I got your attention, and that's in PowerPoint. You know, when you when you do a PowerPoint show, okay, when you do a PowerPoint show, it takes up the full screen, uh, but it turns out that it doesn't have to. You see this? I got my PowerPoint going right here, and it's not. This is the PowerPoint show. Okay, it's not the full screen, and the reason it's not the full screen is that I adjusted the setting in there. If you want to make your PowerPoint into a sizable window, go to Slideshow, go to Setup Show, and then just, it, you're, by default, you're going to be in this full screen. You just click this Browse by an individual window, and then you can resize that any way you want. Okay, so that's just an extra, extra little tidbit for you there. Have fun.